Star, I love you so much. Let's go for a ride. No. I was just about to take a star for a ride. Hey. Why? Because she's expensive. That was an accident. Nay. Sorry to say. No. Farmer. No. Nay. No. If you sell her, I will run away and never come back ever again. Iris's father leaves Iris. She takes her horse on one last ride into the forest, crying into the mane of Astara. <laughs> Iris wakes up to say goodbye to Astara. To her surprise, her horse is already gone. Distraught, she decides to run away and find Astara. She packs a bow and arrow, food and clothing for the long journey. She will not stop searching until she finds her horse. She walks for five straight days. Then she comes across an old wizard in the forest. Hey, I know where to find your horse. How do you know about that? I am a wizard, little girl. Um, yeah. Where is she? I could not tell you directly how to find her. But you must go across the ocean to Athens, where you will find three little pigs. They will all give you riddles. You must solve them all. If you fail one, you won't find your horse ever again. Thank you. And remember, little girl, 28, not 28. After about a month of paddling, fighting storms, and later starvation and thirst, she arrives in Athens. She is so exhausted she can barely stand up. She trudges along on four limbs to the first pig she sees. I am the wise pig of yonder. I have a riddle for you. The more you add, the less it weighs. What is it? Iris thinks and thinks, and suddenly she has an idea. Very good. Okay, I, I am the second wise pig. Okay. What type of room has no doors, no windows, no lights, no chairs, none of that? What is it? Iris immediately knows it as she has heard this one before. Very good. I am the wisest of all the wise pigs. Forty dogs. Iris walks down into the forest and sees a clearing. She immediately runs towards the clearing and sees a distant mountain. She runs as hard as she can up the mountain and arrives at the peak after about half a day. She realizes that she has arrived on Mount Olympus. In awe, she sees a star standing next to the largest man she's ever seen. Who are you? Why is she on my horse? I bought her. I honor the beauty of your horse. I get to the experience of Mount Olympus. God, look at you. I would make you a goddess. Thank you so much. I actually, my father sucks, so I would love to have you. Like, Man. Uh, Iris had now become the goddess of horses. She lives on Mount Olympus and owns 30 horses. Of course, Astara will always be her favorite. She cares for, loves, and rides all of her horses. She creates horses for other gods in need of them, and most importantly, the mortal world. <laughs>